stop talking on viewings. Today, I'm joined by Keith Allen, who is a letting agent extraordinaire from Essex, but also coaches and guides letting and estate agents. Keith, why do estate and letting agents talk too much on viewings? Talk to me. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a paradox again. Um, it's one of those less is more things. So this is more about when you're showing a property. So it might be for sale, it might be for letting. But often, if I show a property, um, a, a tenant might walk in a fully qualified tenant. So I know they're really interested in the property and I know they qualify. But they might come in and um, one of the things I always do is direct the viewing. So I will be inviting them to go into certain rooms in a certain order. Um, but they may be saying very little, not a lot at all. Um, and so to maybe an untrained agent, they may think, oh, then they're not really interested. But whilst they're walking around on their own or with their partner, they're just quietly going about their business, looking at maybe furniture layouts, imagining living there. And so that's the time to be quiet. Obviously, a few comments along the way inviting them into different rooms, etc. But if people are being quiet, it normally means a good sign. It normally means they're probably going to take it. Whereas someone who comes in who's over-enthusiastic, I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Yep. They're always the people that after the viewing, you might call an hour later. They won't even pick the phone up because that might have been an emotional reaction because they know they're wasting your time. It's one way of looking at it. Thank you for your time today.